What to do, what it is, YouTube. It's your boy D Dynamite here, aka MrBoxerDie.com, aka Mr. Holla at your motherfucking boy. So, I'm here to talk about Mayweather versus Berto. It is official for those of you that have been living under a rock. The fight is going down at the MGM Grand, September 12th, Showtime pay per view. And there's been a lot of a neg negative feedback about this fight, man. There's a lot of people that are unhappy about Mayweather's selection in Andre Berto. And rightfully so. Um, Berto, if I had to pick 10 fights for Floyd Mayweather, Andre Berto wouldn't be one of them. If I had to pick 20, he probably still wouldn't be one of them. So me, myself, I'm not a fan of this fight. But I got to say that I do acknowledge this as a legitimate fight. Andre Berto is a solid opponent, okay? He's a two-time world champion. Good power, good speed, and he has the potential to give Floyd Mayweather some real problems, okay? Anytime you're fighting somebody that has power, you have to you have to acknowledge the fact that that person, okay, has the potential to knock you out. And Berto has that, okay? He has that. So with that being said, I acknowledge this as a legitimate fight for Floyd Mayweather, okay? A lot of people are going to disagree with that, but... You can't really disagree with it, okay? No matter what you think about Andre Berto, he's a legit guy. He's solid, all right? Now, the purpose for me actually doing this video isn't really to talk about the fight, okay? Because the fight to me is, for the most part, self-explanatory. I think most people can agree that Floyd Mayweather is going to win this fight, for the most part, pretty easily. The reason being is because Andre Berto, to me, he doesn't have the footwork. He doesn't have the... Uh, punch accuracy or the punch output to be able to give Mayweather a very competitive fight um, But nevertheless, like I said, it is a fight anything can happen. It is boxing But like I said, I'm not here to talk about the fight itself. What I want to talk about is The negative feedback that has come along with this fight and I feel that It's been much more than it should be okay It's okay to not like the fight but to Question Mayweather's entire resume to call him names because, you know, cherry picker and all this shit because he picked Andre Berto as an opponent to me is going a little bit too far. OK, because the fact of the matter is this. OK, if you took Andre Berto and you put him in the ring with any other welterweight, OK, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, Amir Khan, Kell Brook, any other welterweight, most people would acknowledge that those are good fights. OK, so why is it that when Mayweather fights Andre Berto, it's a horrible fight? Why is that? OK, now I understand that Mayweather is a notch above those guys. OK, I understand that. OK, but how can it be a good fight for them? OK, in a horrible fight for Mayweather? That's just not possible. Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Kilbrook, those are the guys that are that. Most would say are the closest to Floyd Mayweather as far as his level. OK, or they deserve a fight. So. If a Andre Berto fight is cool for one of them, then it should be at very least OK for Floyd Mayweather. I mean, the fact of the matter is, if you took Floyd's last five opponents. All right. And you look at all the top welterweights and top junior middleweights. And you took their last five opponents, okay? And you compare the two. Floyd's last five opponents versus the last five opponents of the top welterweights and the top junior middleweights. And arguably, the top fighters in the sport of boxing. If you went ahead and you compared the last five opponents, okay? Floyd's last five opponents would be vastly superior to that of mostly anyone in the sport of boxing right now. Okay? So, in my opinion, you'd be hard-pressed to call Floyd Mayweather a cherry picker when his resume, his last five opponents, are vastly superior to that of most of the top fighters in the sport of boxing today. I mean, if he's a cherry picker and a coward, what does that say about everybody else in the sport of boxing? What does that say about all the other welterweights? What does that say about Keith Thurman? What does that say about Sean Porter? What does that say about Amir Khan? What does that say about Kell Brook? The fact that their last five opponents are 
vastly inferior to that of Floyd Mayweather's. What does that say about them? What does that say about your favorite fighter? The fact that their last five opponents haven't been nowhere near as good as that of Floyd Mayweather. So like I said, man, the purpose of this video is to put things in perspective. There's just a lot of hate surrounding Floyd Mayweather, and I believe it's unjust. You know, it's it's in ridiculous to me, you know. Anyway, man, let me know what you guys think. Hit me up on Twitter, Box Capital X or Capital X Die. You could also hit me up on Facebook, Box Minus Sign or Minus Sign Die. But until next time, it's your boy D Dynamite signing out. Holla at your motherfucking boy.